What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to another World of Wargaming Cruel Seas tutorial. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe button yet, please, if you enjoy the content, go ahead and do that for me. It helps me grow as a channel, and feedback is always good if you want to leave me some of that too. Today, we're going to be looking at doing these torpedo tokens for Cruel Seas. I've left them on the sprue, primed them black, minus the four that are missing, which I used for a demo game. We're going to start off, I've got my airbrush loaded up with a light blue color. I went with this particular shade of blue because it's a close match for my ocean map. Adjust that according to your taste and needs. If you have a darker mat or lighter, you know, whatever's going to work best for you. And we're just going to airbrush this on easy peasy, straightforward. As always, take your time here. Put on two coats, maybe three, depending on the thickness of your paint. To catch some of the definition and the ripples and the waves on these tokens, we're going to go ahead and hit the whole thing with a wash of Drakenhoff Nightshade from the game's workshop range of paints and shades. With all of that wash dried, we're gonna go ahead and move on to catching some of these ripples and a little bit of this detail with a quick, easy dry brush using matte white from the Army Painter. Now, if you're familiar with dry brushing, easy peasy, go ahead, skip forward, feel free now. But if you're not, stay tuned. I'm gonna share an amazingly versatile technique with you. So in order to do this, we need a couple things. We need our paint. We need a kind of mussy, one of the messed up older brushes, preferably a thicker one. And we're going to need a towel. So what we want to do here is put some of our paint out. And then we're going to load up the brush. We want to make sure we get the bristles really, really, really saturated with our paint. Then we're going to take that over to our paper towel and give it a good thorough scrubbing as Bob Ross would have once said, just go ahead, just beat the devil out of it. Just go ahead, really, really get in there, rub that paint out. And then we're going to start from the top and very lightly come over the top. With dry brushing, it's always best to do a little bit at a time. It's very easy to put more paint onto the surface. It can be very difficult to get paint off of the surface. And with this, I want it to be a little bit brighter at the front of the torpedo where the wake is first coming off and I want that white to fade out and become a little bit less intense as it moves towards the back of the torpedo. And we're just gonna repeat this process, slowly building up that color onto the surface until we've got all of our torpedoes finished. With that little bit of dry brushing done, our waves are waving, time to get our torpedoes torpedoing. Humming across the board, to hopefully connect and do that whopping 16d6 worth of damage. These things are absolutely terrifying on the table. But to do that, we're gonna use two colors. We're gonna be using gunmetal and matte black, both from the Army Painter range. Same colors we use for the torpedoes on the German e-boat tutorial, which I'll put a link to in one of those corners up there. Uh, we're gonna use the matte black for the head of the torpedo. We're gonna be using the gunmetal for the body or the shaft of the torpedo. All our torpedoes painted up, ready to go. We got one more little step, and that's gonna be to knock a little bit of the shine off of the torpedoes. We're gonna use just a thin coat of Agrax Earthshade. I don't wanna overdo it here because I don't want the torpedoes to look rusty. I just don't want them to be as shiny as they are. Once that's done and dry, the last step will be to use some spray enamel, to seal it. This testers, I swear by this stuff. This is, I've sprayed this stuff in conditions where I knew better than to be trying to seal models with zero negative results. I've never had it fog a model or missed them up or anything like that. I've always gotten just primo perfect results for these. So I will leave these on the sprue while I spray them. And then once all of that's dried, I'll clip them off and we'll be ready to play some cruel seeds. That does it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the content. I can't ever tell you guys thank you enough. I appreciate it so much. I also appreciate it if you hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification button, so you get alerts when I put out new content. As always, happy painting, and may the dice be forever in your favor.